loves and welcome back to the channel and welcome to Manchester. So this is my first time properly exploring the city and I want to show you all of the best spots to eat and explore and what you can do on a day out from London all the way here. So the journey here was super smooth, two hour direct train from London Euston to Manchester Piccadilly. In terms of getting here, couldn't have been smoother. Like I can't believe that I haven't been to Manchester sooner because the journey was easy and it can all be done within a day and you can feel like you're getting a proper, proper trip away, you know? And if you're looking to extend your day trip, I couldn't recommend native Manchester enough. It's only a four minutes walk from the station. We stayed in a two bedroom apartment, which was beautiful and so spacious. I love the decor. There's stuff going on in the mornings and the evenings and I'll show you more about it in the next vlog, but here's a little sneak peek. And this is part of Visit England's Escape the Everyday campaign. We've been working across so many different cities already from Bath, Bristol, Brighton to Kent. And now it's Manchester's turn and I cannot tell you how proud and giddy and happy I am whenever I get to work with the Visit England team. I'm getting so excited. I'm hungry. Let's go and eat. First stop of the day, we're going to join the Eat the City tour with Grandchester Chores. It's going to be a three and a half hour, four hour trip. We've just arrived, so what better way to see Manchester than by eating a bunch throughout the day. <laughs> this is like my perfect itinerary. Yay! The Manchester Craft and Design Centre dates back to the 1800s as a shopping hub in the heart of the Northern Quarter. Fast forward to the present day and it's now a space that supports independent makers, creatives and local businesses selling arts, crafts and design. Even the chocolates looked fantastic. So that is the classic vanilla custard, rhubarb and custard crumble and that is an apple and caramel nut. First stop of the day is from Shop Shop which is a mix of Welsh and English made open by a couple. I've got three different types of donuts here but this one I've got the apple and caramel nut. We are starting big. It's so good as well. It is pretty amazing isn't it? Apple, caramel and it's not too sweet. So, so we've got Rob coming, yeah. from Scranchester. Hello, hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob. I started Scranchester Tours about three and a half years ago. It's a multi-stop food tour of Manchester. It's all about food and food history. The name Scranchester is a combination of Manchester and a typical colloquial word in the north of England for food, which is Scran, so Scranchester Tours. Yum! A short walk learning about the murals and Tip Street later, it was time for our second stop at Mackie Mayer. We are now in Mackie Mayer and this is definitely a place I can see myself coming to every weeknight at the weekend. It is chock-a-block with different independent street food stores, big open seats, lots of light and just a great vibe. I want to stay here, <laughs> but remember the tour must continue. Oh my goodness, I tried the fish tacos and the king oyster mushroom tacos here and I loved it. So fresh, a good portion size, love the flavour combinations and the fish particularly was great. You can see it all over my face here exactly how much I liked it. I don't want to spoil the Scranchester food tours for you too much, but if you're interested in learning more about the history of Manchester, its growth from its involvement in the Industrial Revolution, as well as brief visits to iconic spots at the Corn Exchange, it was first built in 1837 in the medieval quarter as a way to trade and exchange corn. It's now a modern venue filled with restaurants and escape room and bars, and there's also Manchester Cathedral that takes back over 600 years of history in the city to see as well. Then it was time for me to try spice mead for the first time. I always see it on TV shows, but I've yet to enjoy it. Until now. I don't normally have a sweet tooth, but I think because it's spiced, yeah. it, it, tastes, like it tastes like mince pie, liquid mince pie, like you said, and it tastes Christmassy. Rob the tour guide took us over to the city centre, explaining the origins of the building surrounding us, and then we quickly popped into the Royal Exchange. What was once an iconic site to trade cotton and textiles had now been transformed to a grade two listed building, hosting a theatre, luxury retail shows and events. Well worth a visit to see some of the original fixtures if you haven't already. Not long afterwards, it was time to visit Thomas's Chop House to try a hearty corned beef brisket hash with poached egg and brown sauce. I didn't expect to enjoy it as much as I did, and imagine this when it's freezing cold outside, it will definitely warm the cockles. Oh, did you know Manchester's Northern Quarter is often used as a filming backdrop for Hollywood films like Spider-Man and Captain America? I didn't actually know that until then after I kept commenting how much it reminded me of New York and Brooklyn. Fun little fact there. I somehow still found room for more so we bundled in the Tarendale with some mushroom wellington and pork pie with Enduya ketchup before washing it down with an ale. Proper pub grub that is. Are 
you ready for dessert now? Because Rob took us to Aflex to visit an award-winning Ginger's Emporium for ice cream afterwards. The spice rum bun was fantastic, and I love the changing menu of seasonal flavours. So that was the end of the Eat the City tour with Rob. So, so, so good. I'll leave a link down below where you can book it. I highly recommend it. Rob is so knowledgeable in all things food, food history. He's so enthusiastic and passionate. And honestly, it was such a great way of being able to see the city and to just sample our way through our scenic different neighbourhood and learning more about the architecture, the history of Manchester. So I had a fabulous time. And it's going to be another food tour coming up, exploring around coach which is a different part of Manchester as well so I'm excited for that one highly recommend Scranchester food tours so good <laughs> obviously love a pun and I love Manchester I get it I totally get why there's so much love for the city oh, even the rain can't dull my mood right now and that's saying a lot <laughs> I visited Chinatown for dinner but you'll have to see what I ate in the next food tour video I filmed <laughs> just that yeah hello hi Sam Do you guys want to be in the vlog? <laughs> 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 you have been featured before. You have. Reunited with my girls. Here's a little sneak peek of some of the classics we ordered. A great meal and an even better to catch up with my girls over dinner in Manchester. If you're looking for brunch, coffee, a place to work from and a place that champions mental health and mental well-being, then look no further, Feel Good Club. I've been introduced to this by Fib and Nicole, my friends. It was started by two wives, Kira and Amy, mid-pandemic and they wanted to have a personal space where people can come here and feel less alone and have a reason to smile and to be able to feel like they are enough just as the way they are. Everything here is just all about optimism, positivity, self-care, taking care of yourself, making yourself smile, looking after yourself, and I just love all of these themes. I've just ordered a avocado on toast. I've got vegan options as well, and cocktails in the evening, so this is somewhere that I can really see myself being in all the time, just working from, and I'm really like smiling so much. It's all so colorful, neon lights are bright and spacious, so yeah, let me show you. I really love the concept behind Feel Good Club and the way it uplifts and inspires others to be kinder to themselves. The team here are super lovely, the space inside is bright and inviting, all around seem like a good place to work from and a place to catch up with friends. Shortly after this, it was time for a walking tour around the city but for another food tour option I want to show you. A short walk from Filger Club are now outside Fred Aldo's and a really cool thing about this art shop they have an artist in residence and it's basically they display all of the work and they're able to do like pieces right outside the shop front they've got pieces on the window display and it's just such an amazing way of being able to showcase local talent and different artists as well and you know really get a good feel for their work apparently this is the place to go to get all of your art supplies and already just looking at the windows it's so colorful and it's so inviting and I just love this so I'm gonna go inside and show you around because I need to walk this off before the next food tour <laughs> there are a lot of independent shops and arts and crafts places in the northern quarter and it's easy to feel inspired by the creativity that surrounds you here it was so lovely to walk around and be greeted with warm smiles everywhere should say that I am currently here with Viv and Nicole, my friends, and they are based in Manchester, so they are showing me all of their favourite spots, which is it's such a good way of seeing a city. Always follow a local because they know where to go, and they're both very, very cool. So they're like, oh, look at this, look at this, this you would like this, and I love it. Pretty much spent the afternoon peering into plant shops and ducking in and out of Chinatown. Obviously, all in the name of showing you what Manchester has to offer, of course. <laughs> Nicole's just taken me to Carpenter's Lane. Feel Good Club actually have some billboards here as well and they've got some positive affirmations and motivational quotes here. I'll read you one of them. Dear stranger, in case no one has told you today, you are enough. You always have been and you always will be. How nice is that to just read on your way? Dear stranger, it's okay if you can't give the energy that you think is expected of you today. Dear stranger, tell people you love them, say when you're happy and say when you're sad. Do all of the things that bring you real joy even if it's just a start. Be exactly who you are in every given moment and know you never need to apologise for it. <sighs> feel a bit emotional. I have tears in my eyes, I'm going to stop. But this is Carpenter's Lane, it's very cool here. So if it's still up in Manchester, come see it. And it's by like the pink buildings. I just love it, I love Manchester so much, I want to move here. <laughs> I love it here so much. I just 
keep looking up all around Manchester and I just can't believe how artistic everything is and so much character and so joyous and arty and I just I'm gonna have to leave London someday you know if you're into unique and colourful homeware, then look no further than to Oklahoma. I couldn't stop smiling whilst I was in there, and it's a lot of fun, and there are a ton of quirky little bits. Here's a little bit more teasing from my East Asian food tour coming up in the next video, featuring this incredibly tasty jam bean and mango mochi ice cream. I haven't stopped thinking about the food here since I visited, so that is saying something. But anyway, more on that later. Hello, hello. So, you're now in Manchester, but you want to explore more parts of it. We are in the neighbourhood of Ancoat, and going to explore some of the few places I don't want to give the full tour away because I still want to give you the surprise and also obviously rob the guy's wonderful knowledge that I would never be able to do justice. So I'm going to show you a little sneak peek of what to expect and leave a link down below where you can book it. If you're looking to explore another area of Manchester on your day trip, the Anko's Food Tour is a great alternative to the Eat the City Tour, especially if you enjoy comfort food. <laughs> I've got a lamb pasty, two mature pasties. This has got two much inside and also some spices. So I'm gonna give this a go. Spice, pumpkin chain, easy to eat on the go. Right, English and Caribbean food. I'm going to try and keep this one a little bit more mysterious so I don't spoil it for you if you decide to visit. But we spent the rest of the afternoon enjoying small bites in a cosy, dimly lit pub, gleefully enjoying Caribbean and Indian influenced pasties on the go, and tucking into a generous plate of piping hot pasta before ending the food off a cocktail from an award winning bar. Ended up doing a super taster test, and this was my reaction. You just go like this. That's alright. Yeah. 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 Yeah.